Dear Mr. Charles Reed, As you requested, I've researched the outbursts of hysteria and visions of the city of Oakmont, Mass, Massachusetts. It turns out that your assumptions were correct. Such cases are indeed more frequent here. Men and women from across the country are drawn to Oakmont, haunted by visions similar to yours, a city drowning, the presence of something great yet unknown. As luck has it, I believe we have stumbled upon a source, the source of your ailment and the person who might help you with it. Prepare yourself, then come to Oakmont as soon as you can. I'll meet you here to help you on your way. Cordially, Johannes Vandebug. Oh dear. Uh, also, like, thalassophobia, like, content warning. Wake up, Charlie! First aid kit and a brick! Also, thank you, Felix. Felix is for life, I appreciate the follow. What is that? It's a thing! It's scary! Hope I never have to use it. But something tells me I will. Okay, we just read that. Proceed to activate, uh, T for more information. We can pin the evidence, okay. It's been a minute since I played, so. Folding camera. Key evidence collected. Can I not take a picture? Again, it's been a minute since I played this. If the war is black, shouldn't you be a blackbird? A crow, if you would? Dash garnet. There we go. Photo of a trophy plate. Oh. Forgot you have to hold it. Gunpowder and all that stuff. So yes, this is a bit of a resource management game. Um, just a little bit. You get to craft stuff, you get to look at things. A tourist advertisement. Monolith National Park is waiting for you. Gromer, the noble troglodyte. Maku Mazan, Curse of the Were Jaguar. Oakmont Line, Oakmont Shipping Company LTD. Hello. Now get out. All right, damn, fuck. Hello. At last, Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure to finally meet you in the flesh. Nice to meet you. Johannes Vanderberg, at your service. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. Ah, much obliged, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please call me Johannes. But where are my manners? Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. That's an eye-catching suit. Thank you, Mr. Reed. 
A mere flood is no excuse for one to abandon one's style. I take it you're a big fan of yellow. Well, I have a particular weakness for it. Call it a personal quirk. What's the deal with the city? Reaching Oakmont was no easy task. Most maps I found didn't mark it, and this rickety packet ship is the only one that sailed here. Why is that? Oakmont is no ordinary place. Its unique geographical position and the flood, a recent natural disaster, make it nigh impossible to reach. But you made it, Mr. I'm sure the tides of fate would have brought you here one way or another. The flood? Tell me about this flood. It began six months ago. Storms raged for several weeks. And the water has risen ever higher without receding. Now the city is cut off from the mainland. I must say I rather like it, despite the inconvenience. Atmosphere, you know? Detective game? Yes. About my problem, though. You said you know someone who can help me with my... problem. The visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakmont. By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert Throgmorton, is already at the port. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. Alas, I fear he has a more pressing matter on his hands. PNG is drip, thank you, Chubby. Where is Robert Throgmorton, though? How can I find Mr. Throgmorton? Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to <laughs> stand out from the crowd. What's he like? Can you tell me a little about Mr. Throgmorton? A remarkable creature. Scion of a robust bloodline. A philanthropist, a scholar, and the patron of the famous Oakmont University. A man of great ambitions, and even greater ego. Do not make him wait. I need somewhere to stay. I'll need a place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fear not. I've already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Here's the key. Sounds... charming. Don't judge a book by its cover, Mr. Reef. What do you do here? You fill your days, Mr. Vanderberg. I host a philosophy club. For the like-minded intelligentsia, gathering seeds of thought, like moths drawn to a flame. Does Oakmont really have much of a market for philosophy these days? There is no consciousness without pain, Mr. Reed. No better moment for clarity than times of hardship. How do I get to Devil's Reef? What's the best way to get around Oakmont? I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot, or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. Ah, you're too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. What else did you mark on there? Places? Like what? You're a private eye, yes? Well, I've highlighted the police station, city archive, newspaper. Places you'll need to get to the truth. This city is insular. It's ways mysterious. No one will take you by the hand, so you better know where to turn in search of a lead. Alrighty, thank you. How's the audio now, by the way? That's it for now, I think. Uh, thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Lee. Oh, before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? Don't worry about that. I'm the kind of man who finds you. Audio good? Already awesome. Welcome to Oakmont, a town on the rise. Not looking too well, honestly. Hello. The end is nigh. It will begin again. What is down comes up. The seed is sowed. The end is nigh. It will begin again. What is down comes up. The sea is so Under the keel bar, exit. Hello! I don't care about your petty excuses. No one leaves the port until my son is found, and that is fine. Uh, 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 excuse me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Go away. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator, just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. 
private investigator, you say? Well, perhaps we can help each other. You kind of look a little weird. Please forgive the question, but I've never met a man quite like you before. That's because no man measures up to the Throgmorn lineage. Proud and powerful blood flows through our veins. My father united with a certain royal family, which has blessed all our offspring with these exquisite features. What do you know about the visions? I've heard you're the man to speak to about visions, outbreaks of hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. <laughs> yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How dare you? My son Albert is missing, and no one in this Innsmouth ridden city will do a damn thing. But yes, let's talk about your dreams. He's not human? Uh, actually, he is. If I may ask, what happened to your son? Why do you care? What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a PI. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep-sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. That he even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Complete malarkey. I know my Albert. I raised him strong and smart, the best of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my words. He's probably a sable main? That's fucked up, even for you. I take it you're not the biggest fan of these Innsmouthers. Those fish-faced freaks have overrun this city since the police burned Innsmouth to the ground. But now, those filthy migrants occupy half this damn city. The port. Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor, the shells, they are everywhere. So they're just refugees? <laughs> Hardly. They've taken work from the local fishermen. They stir and agitate against us, the Throgmorton family. We are the pillar of this community, not to mention that crime rates have skyrocketed. Simply speaking, they are a big stinking pile of trouble. I can try to find your son. Mr. Throgmorton, let me help you. I'm rather good at tracking down missing people. I'll find Albert. What makes you think you can do it? Oakmont is not exactly friendly to new arrivals. Let's just say I tend to see things that others miss. And anyway, what have you got to lose? Sounds like you could use every man you can get. Vera, you have a point, newcomer. Tell me about I the case. I know more about what happened to Albert. Dane, did you not listen at all? I already told you everything. After leaving on the expedition, Albert was found on the shore in a lifeboat. This fisherman supposedly brought him to the house, and then left to call me. But when I arrived here, my son was nowhere to be seen. Anything else? Clearly, something suspicious occurred inside the house. I suggest you stop dawdling and go see for yourself. Where's, Where's the, the fisherman's house? house? This all happened? For Kay's sake, I thought you were a private eye. We're standing right in front of it. And the lifeboat. You mentioned a lifeboat. Is it still around? Yes. Face the house. Then to the left is a beach that borders a fence. You'll find it there. Alrighty, thank you. We as will investigate. As I'm enjoying the weather, Mr. Throgmorton. It's time for me to get started. Find my son, newcomer, and be quick about it. Sorry, I just gotta get it out of my system. Huh. This dog mat looks better than the owner's bed. <laughs> Who's the shaved gorilla? Oh my god, you're so evil. The book is damp and damaged, but 
clearly well cared for. Bazinga, yes. Hello. It would take tremendous effort to move this thing, let alone tossing it over like this. <laughs> Let's see what you find, newcomer. Hello. Hello. Hey, can you hear me? Police? I've already told them everything. It's okay. I'm Charles Reed, Private Eye. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son. Oh, oh, okay. What do you want? Who are you? Tell me about yourself. Uh, name's Will. Will Hammond. I'm a fisherman. We all are. Live here together. Me, poor fellow Paul, Barry, and Innsmouth of Lewis Flynn. We moved here after the flood. I worked on the railroad, but the rail ain't kicking anymore, so I started fishing. It was out of starve. Tell me what happened. I want to know what happened here. Every detail. I don't remember much. Me, Paul, and Lewis. We were here. This is our house. Barry was outside on his business. Then he came back carrying Thogmorton's son. He was unconscious, barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. Then he started to make these horrible sounds and, okay, my head began to burst. And he woke up. And after that, I don't remember a thing, just dreams. Drowned streets, a sleeping giant, a voice that called me, ah. Uh, that sounds familiar. Where are the others? Where are all the other guys? Uh, that's Paul there on the floor. Kay, be with him. Barry's outside with Mr. Throgmorton. Lucky rascal missed everything. And I have no idea where Lewis or Throgmorton's son got to. Starting to suspect the worst. What happened to Paul? Do you know how Paul died? I don't know. When I pulled myself together, he was already... Gone. Okay, have mercy on his soul. <laughs> what is this man's hairstyle? He's rocking a butter conch process. Blue magic didn't do that to another to a brother. <laughs> My God. I'll leave you to it. Take care of yourself, Will. Please, detective, sir. Tell me the truth. Could it be me? Did I kill Paul? Or? I kill him. I don't know yet, Will. The police will stop anyone coming in or out of here, so I suggest you just try and get some rest. I'm afraid of what I might dream. What was the last time your guy has slept? Man, I don't know. Hey, it's a mirror. Choo choo. <clears throat> Let's see some liquor. This. Five cards short of a full house. Never seen knives like this before. Masterful work. Hmm. Seems like prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. Right, I forgot I could do that. So that's what an ends mouther looks like. What's this? Glenna, Nihri, Glenna, Game High, Nugulina, Hoffman. Oh, no, we crazy. He looks like Arthur Morgan in the later stages dying of tuberculosis. That's fucked up and evil. The 
Wine Palace. Albert spread hysteria around him. Albert spread some sort of psychic influence which made everyone nearby suffer hysteria. For HP Lovecraft to watch him take 1d12 psychic damage in real time! True! Hmm. Let's see. Hello? Don't do anything stupid, newcomer. And keep your hands where I can see them. Alright, damn! I've said everything I know. Where's that lifeboat now? Police line do not cross. Titania. Where's your Oberon, huh, Titania? Hope someone finds this. My name is Albert Throgmorton, and this is my will. I want to warn you. Don't go to the depths below Oakmont. There's something we should have never done that. Everything should have remained in that cave. Professor Unknown, I fear, will become of me. It's singing in my brain, dancing on my eyelids every time I close my eyes. The cycle goes on and on and on and on and on and... In the end it comes. I must warn everyone. I must tell my father. He's here. Shit. Something with this helmet gives me chills. What's wrong with it? With this helmet gives me chills. Show one of those Cthulhu dating sims true. Do you like it here, newcomer? Well, get used to it. No one leaves Oakmont nowadays. Can't catch a mackerel since those Innsmouthers took over the fishing business. Hmm. I think we found all the evidence in the house. This. I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck? This ape face. <laughs> What's happening? Right, this is the part where we're like, oh yeah, Detective Brango Burr. Yeah, run! Okay, let's see what we have here. Take this! Yeah! Run! When Albert Throgmorton woke up, he was not himself. He attacked the fishermen, and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled. Throgmorton was dangerous, and posed a threat to Louis Flynn and his fellow fishermen. I could track down Albert. Albert and the fisherman named Lewis fled the scene after the fight in the house. I could track them using my supernatural sense. Anti Throgmorton sentiment. As an Innsmouther, Lewis and his people suffered at the hands of the Throgmortons. Could be a reason to hate them. Oh, we're going crazy. Found your son's will. Mr. Throgmorton, I found this in the lifeboat. Looks like it's your son's will. Give it to me. Oh, my boy, what did you get yourself into? If only I hadn't sent you on that cursed expedition. Goodbye. Goodbye. I've said everything I know. I get it, I get it. So talk to the guy upstairs, then. <laughs> Let's see what you find, Emma. Oh, 
Fisherman pursued Albert, even let off a few shots. Lewis may have wanted Albert dead. Lewis may have wanted to kill Albert outright because he was a Throgmorton rather than just drive him off. wasn't exaggerating when he said he raised him strong. Warehouse. No, we're going crazy. Bloodstained note. Lewis, please, just give me one more week. I know I owe you, but I'm underwater like everyone else right now. I don't have yet enough stock to operate the bar smoothly with the fuzz snooping about the port. But don't worry, I've snuck a nice deal with the proper people, and should have a steady supply channel soon. Just one more week and I'll return everything with double interest. Peter. One fatal round through the forehead. That's no accident. This was deliberate. Key evidence collected. Bar odor is indebted to Lewis. Lewis may be at the bar. Okay. Goodness gracious, that's such a strange thing to see. Hello, barman! I need to find Lewis Flynn! I'm looking for a man by the name of Lewis Flynn. Any chance he's here? Yeah. Even if I knew, I don't rat to newcomers. You're harboring a criminal! Robert Throgmorton hired me to investigate his son's disappearance. I found the note about your debt to Lewis near his cold, dead body. It looks like Lewis murdered Robert's kid. You want him to come here and ask instead of me? What? Don't what me. At best, you're harboring a criminal. At worst, you're an accessory to murder. I... What? No. I ain't done nothing. Tell that to Mr. Throckmorton. No. No. Throck. Lewis is upstairs. Here's the key. Smart man. There's your good deed for the day. See some unsettling creatures around. I've seen some unsettling creatures around. Like nothing I've ever encountered. What are they? <laughs> so you met a wild beast, newcomer. No one knows what they are, but consider yourself lucky to still be in one piece. They arrived in the flood. Some say they come from the sea, others that they are Kay's punishment for us. And what do you say? If it bleeds, you can kill it. Keep your gun handy. And if you want to erase the memory, I sell a perfect cure right here. Remember, better to be a coward and live than brave and dead. Unless you're a newcomer. Alrighty. Bye. Pretty dingy bar. Hey, who are you? What are you doing? 
Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son, Albert, so I think you know why I'm here. Ugh. That darn bartender. It was all that crazy ape's fault. You hear me? Calm down. I only want to speak, for now. But no, if you reach for your gun, you'll hit the floor faster than you can say poetic justice. I got nothing to hide. All right, then, uh, how'd it happen? Start at the beginning. What happened? We, we, we were in our house, me, Paul, and Will. Barry'd gone to the sea. Though well, I told him that it would only bring bad luck. If he'd listened to me, we'd all still be alive. Come on, Lewis. Focus. Right. Well, Barry dragged that damn ape to our house. He was bragging about how much Mr. Throg Morton would give us for saving his son. But that ape, he was out cold. Then woke in an instant and started screaming, attacking us. After that, can't remember a thing. Sir Blobfish right here, be nice to him. But you killed Albert, why? You shot to kill. No warning, no second chances. You pursued Albert even after he fled, why? I... Well, I can't remember it. When he woke, it was like a, a bloody mist descended over me. First thing I recall after is that darn warehouse and me uh, covered in blood. I had no idea what happened, though. I suspected it had something to do with that ape. Turns out, I was right. Why do you look like that? What kind of... Uh, why do you... Your face, it's, uh... Oh, so you're here to attack me just because I look different to you? Wanna spit on me, whisper to your friends? What's new? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't know how to ask. I've just never met someone like you before. I didn't mean any offense. Innsmouther's bodies were blessed by the she. You're gonna see a lot of us here, so you better get over it. We are proud of who we are. Your actions look deliberate, though. The things you did to Albert don't look like a bloody rage. A fatal shot to the head, a hidden body. One might start to wonder if it was deliberate. Well, I don't know what to say. I wasn't myself. But how come your people hate the Throgmortons? I hear there's a bit of a feud between the Innsmouthers and the Throgmortons. Care to fill me in? Those apes hated us from the moment we arrived in Oakmont. Our home was destroyed. We just needed a place to stay. The Blackwood Grand family sheltered us, but others were not as hospitable. We needed jobs, food, and medicine. The city denied it all. And so? We had to fight for every crumb of bread. And those Throg Mortons in their high castle only made our life harder. Always conspiring behind our backs. Always setting people against us. I'd love to see them suffer like we suffered. What's a grand family? You mentioned a grand family. What do you mean? Hmm. So you're a newcomer, huh? Explains a lot. Yeah, a newcomer with a gun. Answer the question. Okay. People here are crazy about bloodlines and tradition and reputation. The head hunters of Oakmont are called the grand families. There's the carpenters who control most of the city's underworld. The Blackwoods, who share kin with Innsmouthers through the Marsh family. And, let me guess, the Throgmortons. Right. Those filthy apes. Now that most of the Blackwoods are gone, there's nobody left to protect us Innsmouthers. I've heard enough. I think I've got all I need. Please, Mr. Reed. Don't tell Throgmorton about me. I know I'm in no position to ask. I didn't want to do whatever it is I did. Honest. Have mercy, please. I have a family. Without me, they'll starve. I'll think about it. This is not exactly cut and dry. I need some time to think. Perhaps I can offer something to grease your grinds. I still have a few bullets on me. <laughs> thinking, thinking. We have a deal! It turns out I arrived here unprepared for business. You give me a little something to get started, and my lips are sealed. I knew you'd understand. Here you are, Mr. Reed. We can still betray him is the funny thing. 
Lewis was affected by hysteria and Albert was murdered because of it. Was mentally affected and couldn't entirely control his, uh, his emotions and actions. Lewis was under a mental influence. Lewis killed Albert Throgmorton while under some sort of mental influence. He couldn't control his actions and thus can't be blamed for Albert's death. I could try and cover for him or else Throgmorton will have him dead. Alrighty, let's head back. Oh yeah, look at these little freaky cat things! I forgot about them. Look at them! They're so cute, what the fuck? Hello, sir. Mr. Throgmorton, now, I've encountered something. Uh, what? I don't have all day. Some uh, unusual creatures, and they sure weren't friendly. You've seen a wild beast, Mr. Reed. I'm somewhat surprised to see you still alive. Those unsettling things appeared after the flood. I've commissioned a few studies on them, but we know little more than when we started. They're aggressive, but fortunately, not immune to gunfire. Yeah, I learned that firsthand. Try to avoid them when possible. And when you can't, keep your weapons handy. I'm sorry, like, I keep staring at the fucking uh, guy with the umbrella behind Mr. Throgmorton. I think they forgot to, like, animate him blinking, so he just looks like he's, like, staring, like, empty-minded into the abyss. I found the murderer. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm afraid I have bad news. Oh, no. Yeah, I found your son in the basement of a nearby warehouse. I'm sorry, but he was murdered. Shot in the head and the body hidden. No. It cannot be true. No, no, no. I don't believe it. No. I've tracked down your son's murderer. Where? Who is he? The murderer's dead. I tracked the murderer down, but he was attacked by those things prowling the back alleys. And they tore him apart. It was that Innsmouth or fisherman, Lewis. He was covered in your son's blood. That may have attracted the beast. Are you certain the body is his? Beyond any doubt. All that's left of him is a heap of flesh and this scrap of cloth. It's from his jacket. Just ask his friends. Alas. This was my revenge to exact, not some wild beasts. Something must be done about those pests. Still, justice has been served. This isn't closure. But at least I know now the story. Thank you. Mr. Throgmorton, I hate to press you, but do you think you could help me now? Yes. You've earned it. Okay, to think a newcomer barely off the boat solves a crime the police couldn't, but I digress. Remind me, what brought you to Oakmont? Trying to find the source of my visions. I, I think I'm going mad, Mr. Throgmorton. I see things, visions, and I needed to stop. I was drawn here, or guided, or I don't know. But I believe the source of this madness is here, in Oakmont. You're not wrong, Mr. Reed. An inexplicable hysteria spread through Oakmont after the flood. I funded an expedition to explore recent geological activity that may be responsible. Why a geological exploration? A geological expedition? I'm not sure I follow. I have reason to believe the flood and this madness have the same source. As above, so below. So I sent men to find out. You think the flood is unnatural? You mentioned the flood. You think it's more than just a natural disaster. You weren't here, Mr. Reed. What happened? Defied scientific explanation. Any discoveries so far? Has your expedition found anything? I do not know. Albert is... Albert was part of it. His passing cannot be coincidence. Why was he alone at the port? And where are the others? The murder and the expedition are linked. You think your son was killed because the expedition uncovered something? Is it so hard to believe? I had no news for a week that Albert 
The only one I can trust comes ashore and is killed. It does sound suspicious. Mr. Reed, I want you to find out what's going on. I expect you're as interested in the expedition's results as I am. Tell me more. If I'm going to look into this, I'll need to know more. Where should I start? I'll give you the address of the expedition's headquarters and a key. That's all you can tell me? Let me be clear, Reed. You do not speak to me like that again. I'm sorry, Mr. Throckmorton. I just meant the more I know, the better. I am a busy man. I funded the research, but left all preparations to Professor Doe and... Albert, when you've finished, come see me at the Throgmorton family manor. It's in Old Grove. Here, I'll show you. Let's talk payment. What about my expenses? They will be reimbursed after you complete your task. And of course, you've earned some compensation for your work here at the port. I'll also include a fair advance in bullets. Uh, bullets? The dollar lost its use here, Mr. Reed. After the flood, Oakmont returned to bartering. Bullets mean more than bills. It's awesome! I just got a revolver! Alrighty. I gave you clear instructions, did I not? Let Indy cook? Yes, thank you. How are you, Okizeme? Let's see, we just have to go over this way, I believe. And now we just start getting to, I think, we can start probably the second case after this. Uh, and then we can stop for now with uh, Sinking City and probably transition over to DVD. America Currency? Yes. 